All right, so it's finally cooled off a little bit. As you can see outside, it's a little cloudy, or, you know, not as bright as it was this morning. It's around 12 o'clock now, but I got a package in the mail. And here it is. I bought this off of one of the other owners, off of another G8 page. It was the Oklahoma G8 Club page, I believe. And it is a little, uh, license plate bezel thing that you can put on your car so I'll shine it up I bought it used which was fine so I'll just slip my tag into this and then slip it on and then I'll let you see what it looks like I think this is reflective stuff you can also uh, look for look around in your area and see if there are any um, any other you know owners and such because I know every area has some and if anyone is ever selling stuff on there it usually helps because then you get the you get your product in one to two days or I think I bought uh, I bought those mirror caps from another owner on there on that page and then um, I think it only took one day to to get here and then this one here took two days so you know it, it beats having to wait three to four days or longer depending from where you order it from because I think I bought some uh what did I buy oh yeah I bought my intake from uh oh I think it was New Jersey and it took about a week to get here down to Arkansas which is right there and I'll do a little video on that later but it's installed and I just had to piece the together the video because I ended up uh slicing a big chunk off of my finger if you can see that not really, but it was pretty deep and it's filling in, but it kind of looks, uh, kind of looks like somebody took a, like a, like a chunk out of my finger. So, that's why I haven't posted that video up until my, my finger heals a little bit, just, it, it is, it is pretty painful. Right now I just have this little rubber, rubber thing that I bought off of, uh, from Walmart I think it was like two bucks or something two dollars so and I just bought it just because oh well that's nice I bought it because it's supposed to help stop the rattling from your license plate so I'll get it off and pick it up all right so I got the tag off and as you can see it is pretty dirty back here behind the license plate so I'm just going to have a little bit of this uh, liquid wax dubs I think there's there should be enough to do just that small spot and I need to touch this up here this is where I backed into a pole on my uh, what was it my very second car meet from afar, you can't really see it. Need a clay bar, but there's a little couple of little spots. I do have some uh, Dr. Color Chip to fix this, so I may do this here after I'm done with this and show you a video of just what Dr. Chip is like. Since one of my videos got um, copyrighted or something, and uh, the third part doesn't show it, and now that I have a better camera, I should redo it. But here's what it looks like. I still haven't cleaned it up. I'm going to clean it with some of this uh, Adams VRT, which I really like this stuff. I don't know if you can tell on my tires, but there is still some on there. So uh, you can see if you can tell the difference between this uh, um, drier looking rubber and then this here darker, rich looking rubber. And that's just the uh, Adams VRT. But wow, now that it's uh, cooler, I think I'll back the car out a little bit and start on, pick up, uh, continue cleaning up my car. I may have to clay bar this area since I, I see that a lot of this isn't coming off with this, uh, well, I am using spray wax, but I may have to bust out the Adams clay bar just to get this cleaned up yeah I'll definitely have to 
bust it out. I do have some Adam's detail spray. I could try that too. But as you can see, it's not uh, it's not getting most of this uh, dirt and grime off of here. So I think I will need the the clay bar and detail spray this area. So I'll just pause the video and pick it up once that's done. So here's this Adams clay bar that I bought. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but it's a it's a it's a pretty handy, I suppose. I guess you're supposed to make one of these little pattern things with the little red thing there and now we'll see just how well this clay bar cleans this extremely dirty little area spray a little bit there and put a little bit on the clay bar and you saw just how dirty that was Need a little bit more lubricant on here. A little bit more here. I'm pretty generous when it comes to this stuff. When I do this stuff, just... Just because you don't want to scratch it. I mean, not that anyone would, would see it anyways, because the license plate will cover it up. And I could just put my tag back over here, but then my OCD will get to me and I'll know that, you know, it's there. Let's clean it off a little bit. And it looks like the, uh, the rubber one that I had here seems to have rubbed it a little too much, or at least the dirt and debris that has gotten under there has uh, scraped a little bit of the paint off. But I think that's uh, pretty much a, a normal thing with your license plate, unless everyone removes their plate every time they wash their car just to get back there. But I could just put some more, some Dr. Color chip on there, I suppose, and fix it up. But oh, wow, that is, that is dirty. So it looks a little bit better, not entirely, but for what it is and how difficult this area is to to get to, it's it's a lot better than what it was. And I still need to get my car professionally detailed and then I'll be able to start hand washing my car just it's 400 bucks to get them to completely remove the swirls and do paint correction and touch up paint and everything else that you know goes along with getting your car back to showroom finish but for now, until, I mean, the paint isn't exactly terrible on my car. I could be uh, maybe a little bit more, you know, gentle with it, I suppose. Not taking it to the car wash, but I've been taking mine to the car wash since 
the very first day that I had my car and I always wash off the brush and then and then go do the paint and as you can see you know it's still in relatively good condition and I'm told that white you know hides a lot of swirl marks but ugh, really hope that's really hope that's uh, water and not something else car wash water and not my soda but as you can see I don't know if you can pick up the swirl marks they're very fine like right in there I mean I can see them maybe you can't on camera but you have to really look for them and when it's extremely sunny then I suppose I think they stand out a little bit more but even then I just wax the car up and it's like as if nothing's on there so now that I got that as best as I could I'll go here and clean this up so yeah here's the bottom part of the plate so you can see where all this dirt latched onto it and rubbed rubbed the frame of the car but it did its purpose I, I mean I think um, I don't know what's worse just leaving the bare tag on your car or or putting something over your tag I do like these mufflers on here though but I still need to get this part fixed I mean you can't see where it's melted on unless you're like really looking for it there you can see a, a nice chunk of plastic stuck on there so I had to pull these off <clears throat> pull them off and then get get the polisher in or the polishing uh oh what is it it's like wool polish type stuff and so yeah can you see a can you see a difference here already let me just dry this off okay well maybe not but uh, I can't really tell. I don't think this is working. Maybe I'll have to use a different product, something that'll soak into the pores of the plastic just because this isn't exactly working as as I thought it would because I think as soon as it dries off it'll just go back to looking normal yeah I think that's that's about as good as it'll get and you, you know this is this isn't for show this is just you know to make the back look a little bit nicer so it's going it's going to get weathered and everything else so you can't expect you know your little tag frame to look good it'll get sun bleached and everything else all the elements are on it and there's n nothing that you can really do to protect your plastic unless you get it painted so maybe maybe later on I might buy another one and you know get the uh, the stickers the reflective stickers made or something who knows but I mean it'll look good once it's on the car so I'll pause it and put it on and there she is so now the rear is complete looks a lot better adds a nice little touch to it you know breaks it up maybe I don't know maybe a little bit too much with the the red down here but I don't think you really notice it I mean it's a good color combination I do like the red white and black color combo Still need to get this replaced with an actual emblem, but I don't know. I kind of like this here. It's not too intrusive. So, that's it. I think I'll get back to detailing the car. Pull my car out and get started on the wheels and wax the, uh, the body because all I did was dry the car off. Whew. As soon as I was done with the car wash. And then the thing about that is that, you know... You think you dry it well enough and then you get spots like where are they like this right there if you can even pick it up just little soap bits 
We're right there. That creep out of the crevices and whatnot. Like right there. So I'll just uh, spray her down with some uh, some wax and um, I'm out of detail spray so I guess it'll be just a wax but I did wipe her down so that's that's pretty good. 